Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Russ and today I review... Don't Breathe. So, um... This is a... Home Invasion psychological horror thriller uh, that is written by Fade Alves Rez and Robo Sayevig, I'm butchering the name, and directed by Fade Alvarez. Uh, so this stars Gene Levy, uh, Dylan Minnett, um, Daniel Zovato, and Stephen Lang. So, this follows a group of friends, well, three friends, and one of them, their dad works for this alarm security company, and they go to people's houses who have got those alarm security systems, and they disable them and rob the houses. And they find out that there's this old man that's a blind war vet, and, they, and he has some money stashed up in his house and they want to get it and they uh, pretty much underestimate the situation when the blind man is a lot tougher than they thought not only that but in the basement he has a twisted secret of his own now this film's about five years or so i'm sure i'm not going to give anything away so he has a woman in prison down there and she's carrying his child after he inseminates her with a turkey baster because she accidentally killed his child in an accident and that's what he's doing but when they try and free the girl but they end up getting her killed you know our main protagonist our final girl uh roxy is almost inseminated until uh alex comes to her, her to her aid and saves her but um alex and money the other guy who was with him um they all meet their demise at the hand of the old of the blind man who is who was actually been given a name now and he's called norman uh nordstorm yeah nordstrom uh anyway yeah um so our final girl tries to make this getaway and as she is, um, well, as uh, she's the only survivor um, from the blind man, she and her sister take all the money that they've stolen and they make a getaway. As for the blind man, he's seen as the victim in this. And yeah, so yeah, I thought I would revisit this one before going to see the new one that's I think's just come out at the time of this video's released. Um, so I thought I would revisit the first one, refresh my memory, and review it too, revisit it. So let's get on to my likes and dislikes. What did I like? Well, I was very surprised at this one. When I went to see it in the cinemas, I was greatly surprised by it. And yeah, I, I loved this one. I, I liked it how at first it was going to be like a home invasion sort of thing, where they're robbing a blind man, but they underestimate his action and war skills. But then he has a twisted secret of his own, and you know it all. It turns into like you know they're like burglaring his house, but he's keeping someone captive. And he's yeah. I just like the whole twist and turns this made, and I love Stephen Lang playing the blind man. He did. A brilliant performance playing that guy I mean you know his acting and even the character itself the blind man or you know Norman I liked him you know I, I can actually sympathize with the guy you know I mean yeah what he's doing is a bit messed up and wrong but I can understand him you know he's like one of those you actually root for and you end up you do end up rooting for him and he's like an old daredevil or the stick from Marvel Comics, and I love that character, and I love Stephen Lang's performance. I also liked uh, Jane Levy playing Roxy. She too was wasn't dumb. She was actually smart and thought things through, and that, and actually survived. Uh, and I knew her from the Evil Dead reboot as Mia, who was again the final girl in that. Um, I do feel that the littlest character development that was done was on Money. You know the third friend who was with them um i also like the character of alex played by dylan minute minutes is that his name i i knew first knew him as percy jackson from percy jackson and the lightning thief film um 
I thought he's, he was all right in this too, but I didn't see the twists and turns of that in it, which is what I liked. This was a surprising a surprise for me, and I believe it was a surprise hit too, because, well, they obviously made a sequel, which I've yet to see, but uh, yeah, I really liked this film. I, it was fast paced. It was about um, 88 minutes. And it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel long and it doesn't feel short. But it's like a nicely done film that was fast paced. And they got straight to it. The cinematography was good. Even though it was dark in some scenes because it was night time. It was a good film and I really did enjoy it. And I can't recommend that enough. And I'm really looking forward to the second one. Of course I've yet to see that. And in this one they seem to have... Put, made the blind man more of a protagonist this time, like an anti-hero, but we shall see. So, yes, uh, don't breathe. Uh, what am I going to rate this one? Um, I think I will give this one... You know what, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I'll give it five machetes out of five. Five machetes out of five for Don't Breathe. So there you go, that is my review on the movie. Don't Breathe, have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below if you have, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to hit that notification bell. And if you're new here, and welcome to Random Horror and that, um, you know. And if you're returning here, you know, like I say, welcome back and that. So, yeah, all my social media links are down below in the description. So that's it for this one. So until next time. You would have nightmares.